Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today's video we're going to be giving you questions and answers for the combination vehicle written exam to get yourself a CDL permit. I'm wearing the hat because I'm feeling in the Christmas spirit and I'm willing to give you a gift. Most of the time people have to pay for this information, but because you're a loyal fan here on YouTube, you actually get this information for free. So let's get going. I understand I'm not going to give you all the answers because you're going to have to be a student here to do that, but I'll give you a sneak preview and we're going to go through each step, step by step. Let's go through some questions and answers for the combination written exam for your CDL permit. If you're looking to get a CDL, you should know that this is going to be one of the tests that you're going to have to pass if you're looking to get that CDL class A. You're going to have to pass your knowledge, air brakes, and combination vehicle. So let's dive right in. First question is going to be, which of the following statements is true? A. It takes longer to stop a loaded vehicle. B. It takes longer to stop an empty vehicle. C. It takes the same amount of time to stop a loaded vehicle as it does an empty vehicle, or D, none of the above. The correct answer is B. It takes a lot longer to stop an empty vehicle. The reason behind that is these vehicles, when we're talking about vehicles, we're talking about tractor trailers, these things right over here, those vehicles are built to carry up to 80,000 pounds, which means the suspension, the brakes, the tires are all built to carry a whole lot of weight. So when all that weight is on top of that, it's causing uh, friction and it's actually pushing down on the tires and making sure the brakes work, which means now it's going to stop much faster than if you were just empty. Because if you're empty, there's no friction and the trailer actually starts bouncing and the tires actually lose connection with the ground itself, which means it's going to take you longer to come to a complete stop. So that is why it is letter B. Number two, jackknife will occur once the angle, once the angle between the tractor and the trailer reaches either A, 10 degrees, B, 25 degrees, C, 15 degrees, and D, 5 degrees. So this is just like a memorization question. This is going to be 15 degrees C. So the reason why it's 15 degrees, once it starts getting to more than 15, at 15 degrees, that's when a jackknife happens. And a jackknife simply means that the tractor looks like this and the trailer looks like this. So you have some type of L shape going on there. Anytime you have a jackknife, whether you're backing up or pulling forward, uh, most of the time it has to do because you slipped around or maybe if you were backing up and you caught yourself in a jackknife That means you don't really know what you're doing because anytime you're like this It's going to make it very very hard to maneuver the vehicle itself. So you want to avoid jackknives pretty much at all costs Question number three your 60 foot vehicle is traveling 45 miles an hour. What is the proper following distance? You're gonna have seven seconds as a B is gonna be five seconds C is going to be 4 seconds and D is going to be 6 seconds. The correct answer is going to be 7. So that's going to be letter A. Now this formula here is talked about in the general knowledge section. So even when you go take the written exam at DMV, you're going to see that there's general knowledge questions split up throughout the entire, uh, all three port portions of the test. So don't think that you're going to go into a combination test and only answer questions about the trailer itself or air brakes, everything kind of mixes in. So the way this formula works is the first thing you have to understand is we have a 60 foot vehicle and we're going 45 miles an hour. So it's going to be one second for every 10 feet of your vehicle. So since we have 60 feet, it's going to be six seconds. And then if you're going faster than 40 miles an hour, you're going to add one second. So because we're going 45 miles an hour, it's going to be six seconds for the length of the vehicle and then plus one second for the speed that we're going, which gives us the number seven, all right? So if now that you know that formula and I were to change this thing around, let's say you have the, a 50 foot vehicle going down the highway at, we'll say 30 miles an hour. How many seconds of falling distance do you need? The correct answer is five because it's five seconds for the 50 feet. And since we're going less than 40 miles an hour, you don't add a second there. So I hope you understand that one because that one can change any which way that you want. You just have to understand the formula behind it. Number five, the trailer air supply control, either A, is used for parking short periods of time, B, connects to the trailer air tanks, um, to the trailer air brakes, C, connects the tractor air supply to the trailer, or D, Operates the trailer protection valve in the event of a rapid air loss will cause the emergency brakes on the trailer to apply So the correct answer here is D the trailer air supply control So the thing you have to understand is you're gonna have a tractor and then you're gonna have a trailer behind there 
The tractor is what actually produces all the air for your air brakes. Again, this is an air brakes type of question that you learn in the air brake section. So with that being said, the air from the tractor, because your air compressor is in the tractor, go into the air tanks of the tractor itself, and then from the air tanks it goes into the trailer, into the trailer air tanks. So the air supply control, the way that works is it's almost like a protection valve, right? So the air supply will make sure that the air is constantly going into the trailer itself to make sure that the trailer air tanks are full. If there is a rapid decrease in air pressure, which means that maybe you have a leak in one of the lines when one of your brake chambers got busted, and you have all this air coming out of your trailer side itself, this is talking about there's a protection valve that shuts off that trailer completely. So if you notice on the parking brakes, so you have two parking brakes, the trailer parking brake will pop out automatically and that will prevent you from losing air inside the tractor itself. So in a real life example, say you're driving down the highway, you're going 40 miles an hour, whatever it is, and all of a sudden you have a major air leak in the trailer. If everything is working correctly, just the trailer brakes will pop inside the cab and then all of a sudden you'll start dragging the actual uh, trailer behind you because the wheels have locked up itself. So super important that you do an air brake test every single day because if you do, then you get to avoid any issues like that. And we'll give you one more as a bonus round. Number six is going to be the emergency airline is either A, also called the supply line, which supplies air to the trailer and controls the trailer emergency brakes. B, always painted blue for easy identification. C, uh, a red eight-sided push knob button or D, used only in emergency situations. So the correct answer here is going to be letter A. The emergency air line is actually the red line that's in between the tractor and the trailer, and that line itself will only supply air to the emergency brakes of the tractor, of the trailer, I'm sorry. So that being said, anytime that you push in the parking brake for the trailer, which is gonna be that red parking knob that you see right over here, you push that in, it actually pushes air through those red, that red line in the back and it's gonna fill up all your brake chambers to release the emergency brakes. Anytime you pull that parking brake out, it's then gonna remove all the air from those, uh, those brake chambers itself and then all of a sudden, now you have no air, which means you can't move. If you want more details of that, make sure you check out our video where we explain the air brake system in very, very high detail. I hope that these six questions helped you out. Like I said, I can't give you everything even though I want to, too, but I do need you to sign up as a student so you actually get the full package. So if you are interested in learning more, make sure you give us a call, 908-525-3609. We have our location is open up seven days a week, so that means we can work on any kind of training schedule that you do have. We also offer our online training program. So say for instance, you're super busy at work, you can't really come in for training whatsoever, but when you're trying to get yourself that CDL permit and you want to pass the test the first time, make sure you definitely give us a call so then we can get you set, set up with our online training course. And that course is going to be the same exact course that you would get when you were in class here. That course has 95% success rate. So as long as you follow the course as we designed it, 95% chance that you're going to pass the test the very first time. If you want to figure out pricing specifically on what's going on, make sure you give us a call at 908. 525-3609 or check out our virtual school tour at cdldriveacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldriveacademy.com forward slash tour. And the one thing you do have to understand is this year is coming to an end. That's why the Santa Claus hat is here, which means next year pricing is going to be increasing simply because of all the changes that are happening. So if you want to lock yourself in, make sure you sign up this week or next week because next year is going to be all over and new pricing gonna increase, so that means you're gonna have to spend more money, why do that? All you need to do to lock yourself in is $500 down, then we can work out a payment plan for the rest. So one more time, give us a call, 908-525-3609, or check out our virtual school tour at cdldriveacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdldriveacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks, have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel, it's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.